The front runner in a presidential race that's unlikely to be over for another week. Cyprus's foreign minister, Nikos Christodoulidis, is ahead in the polls, but to win outright, he'd need more than half of the total vote, something the same polls suggest he's a long way short of. Today is a celebration. Today is the day for democracy. Every Cypriot can, with their votes, determine the future of our country. Early turnout was substantially up on the previous presidential election in 2018. Voters have much on their minds. Soaring inflation, irregular migration, deadlocked reunification talks with the Turkish north of the island and long-running corruption scandals. The main issue that concerns me is corruption, which I want to change with my vote. And I call everyone to get off the couch and come to vote. The most uh, important thing uh, for me in this election is uh, the direction the country is going to follow to be pro-Western uh, and not anything else. Christo Doulidis, who's largely been untainted in the public eye by corruption, is seen as something of a continuity candidate following the outgoing two-term president, Nikos Anastasiadis. Of the 13 other candidates in the race, two are seen as realistic rivals, right-wing party leader Avarov Neofitu and the diplomat Andreas Mavrioyanis, who's being backed by the main leftist opposition party. I have confidence in the judgment of the people. I have confidence that with their vote and their participation, they will lead our country towards better days. That judgment is expected to be split in Sunday's round of voting, the final one likely to come in a two-candidate runoff in seven days' time. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera.